I just catch you having fun? No. <laughs> Propaganda comes in many forms. It's something I've learned throughout my time living on this earth. It could either be through just learning one particular thing and not learning about the things that can conflict with your ideals. It can come from people just forcing something upon you, as in government structure. Or it can come from people subtly influencing the thought of children just so they can think like they want to so they can control them later in the future that's what cartoon network is, network is trying to do with these stupid ass steven universe ads and yeah i'm responding to one no i'm not responding to the one where they're at the park talking about the racisms i'm responding to the one specifically about the historical context of black people in america and in black history and how is that oh they're apparently ignored even though they're not trust me all right i grew up reading a ton of shit about history they don't mince words with it there's people that they talk about even in elementary school where maybe they won't talk about certain people that much i still learned about a few people of all races of all colors all that type of shit so when i say that this stupid ass ad of steven universe is one of the worst things i've ever seen and is so ahistorical that i want to fucking punch a wall I mean it. I'm, I'm ready to go full Yinzer on this one because of just how bad this is. I don't see what is going on here that would compel me to unironically want to watch Steven Universe anyway, but also to feed into whatever bullshit that they're saying. And it's just really funny too because the gems are bashing us for how we deal with things, yet they literally went on mass genocides blowing up planets and shit the, the whole thing and not only that it's not remember they were on earth during slavery they were on earth and all that shit why didn't they do anything to help hmm very weird so yeah let's delve into this bullshit and see why rebecca sugar shouldn't have a job in the fucking animation industry and also why they should immediately try to save the v va for steven right now because he's been and Dr. Dre did so bad, I think he's about to ruin his life. All right, class. Can anyone tell me who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison! That's not entirely true. Yes, it is. The now, you could say that he stole some shit. Yeah, he did. Definitely was a shady fucker. And he did steal some shit from people like Nikolai Tesla and try to pass it off as his own, but the light bulb is still largely credited to him despite that. But let's see what they're going to do with this. Light bulb could more rightfully be attributed to Louis Latimer, the black inventor behind the filament inside the bulb. No, he wasn't the guy inside the filament. He didn't do the filament. He upgraded the filament. All right, he it, it's like a re, it's like a ship retrofit. He retrofitted the ship doesn't mean he made the damn ship himself that's what he did with the light bulb all he did was just make it to where the light bulb would last longer like that's not inventing the light bulb you fucking idiot he didn't join until after anyway he didn't join that thing that they were at until after the light bulb was already invented like, jesus christ man all you need is just a basic understanding of history to understand like what they're trying to do here is complete and utter bullshit Steve's invention made light bulbs affordable and efficient enough for the general public. Now, I, you could probably say that, but that's still not inventing it. Electric light into households around the world. Well, so, so now, now you, you know. know. The more you know. Wait, is that it? Hold on. We're what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Why are we doing this meta bullshit? What? Where did this come from? It's like, wait a minute. This is it? This is it? What? Aren't you a teacher? Shouldn't you know? In this context, you're a teacher trying to teach kids. How do you not fucking know? It's not that damn hard to know about other black inventors. Booker T. fucking Washington. George Washington Carver. Well, maybe maybe Booker T. Washington wasn't really an inventor, but still, he did a lot for black people. And it wasn't through being an asshole. We're not going to mention why he invented the filament. He didn't make the filament. He upgraded the filament, you dumb bitch. God damn. 
To create a better standard of living for people who had only just been freed from slavery? I think it was for everyone. Everyone was going to use the light bulb. Why would he just invent the light bulb for black people? That doesn't make any fucking sense at all. And also, I'm pretty sure Louis Latimer did a lot for black people in his position anyway. That's what he was trying to do, and I love how this picture right here is like, Nigga, what the fuck you talking about, bitch? What the fuck you talking about? I was trying to do everything to make sure everybody could come together as equals, and here you are acting like a little hoe. Damn. Are we going to ask why kids are apparently learning about Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison! Ugh. And not learning about Louis Latimer? Hey, we should be able to learn about Louis Latimer a lot more easily. I under I completely agree, but still, Thomas Edison was the guy who did make the light bulb. That's why he's enshrined, just like Alexander Graham Bell is enshrined for having invented the fucking telephone. Jesus Christ, you're not as more re easily remembered just for making improvements on the telephone. You're more easily remembered for making the damn telephone and improving communication lines across the entire country and in prospect the world. Duh. Jesus Christ. These textbooks are incomplete. There were black Roman warriors. Yes, but that's because the Romans conquered parts of northern Africa. There's black medieval knights. Black. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'll give you that. That's a maybe, though. N not as many, though. There, you, gotta, you, can, you gotta admit, not be that many. Black classical musicians. Yeah, we know this. Black cowboys. This! I have a show called Crisco County Jr. with the black cowboys, one of the main fucking characters. Shut up. Also, modern-day cowboys like Trivette from Walker, Texas Ranger. But we know, we know there are black cowboys, man. There was black ranch hands actually being, you know, doing the cattle wrestling across the country and shit like that. Like, come on. We know this shit. I learned this basic stuff in fourth fucking grade. I think this is just more of a failure on the modern American education system. If people aren't learning this type of shit. Because the modern education system is ass. Public education is complete ass. I don't see how anyone can so unironically defend public education right now as it is. Public education is bullshit. Go to a damn private school. Or get homeschooled. Alright? Do other things to try to make friends around your neighborhood. Don't go to fucking school. It's bullshit. Just do... Something to get more educated on these things. Read a bunch of history books in your spare time like I did. Hell, I read through a damn book and I had fun with it, despite the fact it's one of those slog books that takes a long time to read because it's just talking about the history of something. And it was about the 1920 presidential election. It was the year of six presidents. That book is a great book, and it really explained a lot of stuff that was going on in the minds and in the nook and crannies of everything happening within the 1920s and how that influenced America going forward. But you're not going to be able to teach kids this, or at least get them to learn unless you were teaching them properly. If they're not learning about black people who have done good things, that's a failure on the education system. Not because America is intrinsically racist or is trying to keep black people down. Black fighter pilots, aware- Yeah, we know, no, we know. There was also a guy, and I learned about this dude too. One of the cooks. I forget his name. I know Cuba Gooding Jr. played him in the Pearl Harbor movie. But he was the cook on the Arizona, who after fleeing from the Arizona, got onto another ship and started blasting motherfuckers with a damn turret. And he got the Medal of Honor for that. 90% sure. We know, dude. We know, we know, man. Like, do you, I mean, we have films, like the one Civil War movie, where you have Morgan Freeman as a Union soldier. We have Lincoln, damn it, where it showed black Union soldiers. We know, we all know. This is easy information. To imply that no one knows easy, basic information about public, about American history, about actual black people who have done things for history in America. What the hell? Also, why don't you guys talk about Booker T. Washington or freaking George Washington Carver? Oh wait, you can't because they didn't abide by your bullshit. Are they? I worry about you humans because- 
I worry about you because you're a hoe. Because you only live, what, about a hundred years? You rely on these stories to know your own history. Oh god, I, I, I don't like the implication that shows. Thanks to systemic racism, most of oh, your sto- Oh god fucking damn it, systemic racism is not why there aren't that many black people in American literature and shit that are main characters, it's because America is, guess what? Majority white, but guess what? That's been changing a lot recently, and we have a ton of black superheroes and even supervillains or antiheroes. We have that. We have black people who are doing a lot of good shit right now. The NFL is like literally the gateway for black success. And the systemic racism, if there was still systemic racism, there would be, I mean, actual systemic racism like there was back when Jim Crow was still a thing, that none of these guys would be able to make millions of dollars. None of them. Jackie Robinson would have been an afterthought. DeAndre Hopkins wouldn't be able to make millions of dollars being one of the best wide receivers in the fucking game. Like, I know Jackie Robinson's baseball, but still. This is bullshit. There is no actual systemic racism, and if there is, guess where it's happening? Big cities run by Democrats, and that's why their crime rates are so fucking big, because they're so goddamn intrusive on everything, and they've made the basically the back population kaput. They've ran them into the ground. Want to check out the single black motherhood rate? rate? The single motherhood rate in the black community right now. Up a extreme amount from where it used to be. And guess when that started? Guess when that decline in single, guess when that rise in single motherhood in the black community started? Right after Lyndon Johnson was elected, well not elected, right after Lyndon Johnson started signing all those welfare programs. He completely fucked them over. Uh, how about other shit? But there's so much that you're just conveniently ignoring about American history and more recent history in regards to civil rights. They're just painting this broad stroke that America is this horribly awful place when you're you're not even actually showing us actual history. You're trying to manipulate kids who don't know any better to make it seem like America is silencing black voices when they aren't doing anything of the sort. At least not majorly. And what about all the other race forms of racism? How about the anti-white racism? How about anti-Hispanic racism? You know, like what started when Cubans were getting harassed because Florida went for Trump. You not, you know, you're not, you're not going to say anything about that? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. No, because it goes against our narrative. Storytellers prioritize white accomplishments, which leaves you with an incomplete picture. Fuck you, you goddamn bitch. Holy shit. I cannot believe someone actually wrote this, took it to a producer, and they thought it was a good enough idea to fucking put on TV as an ad. What the fuck? Ask yourself as you're learning history, who's telling the story? Everyone. This is not Soviet Russia where they suppress information on the goddamn daily. This is America. Where we have civil protections, we have a constitution, we have a bill of rights that can guarantees the rights of citizens to do what they have to do as a law-abiding citizen. America is the freest fucking country that has ever existed on this earth. Do not try to make it seem like America has always been this horrible, awful, racist place, but we have made a hell of a lot more strides than any European country has. Fuck. Was this modified to make white readers comfortable? What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? What are you talking about? I'm about to go for you. What the fuck is this? Damn it. I, I do not play Halo and wonder why the hell Sergeant Johnson is black. I do not watch fucking... Uh... What's a good team? I don't watch Avatar The Last Airbender and wonder why everybody's Asian. Are you fucking kidding me? I enjoy media because it is good no matter who writes it, who stars in it, or what the ethnicity of these characters are. You should not. There's this thing called egalitarianism that you are completely fucking ignoring. 
and it pisses me off. Why? Just why can't you fucking use your damn heads? Jesus Christ. Mm. Are major details being left out that would credit people of color and center their point of view? Can you stop? Can you fucking just stop? Once again, American life ain't perfect, but it's the best life we got right now. We are much more better off right now than we ever have been in human history. Why are you trying and trying and trying to spout rhetoric that will only divide people? Most people think we can do better to solve problems in, um, in America and around the world. Shit like this, where you're just outright accusing people of making it to where we're suppressing stuff, unlike, you know, the Scottish are being fucking suppressed in English history. All that shit. We gonna ignore that? Or are we gonna talk about all the Celtic tribes that have been completely fucked over, the Slavics, all the religious and ethnic minorities that have been screwed over by white people in other white lands like fucking Russia, and even then they're not even really white! To say that black people have been the only ones who have been actually discriminated against is a downright lie. Holy shit, have you seen what's going down in South Africa right now? People are literally being killed, robbed, harassed because they're white. Oh, great, there's thunder. But seriously, this is just historical revisionism right here. Not only historical revisionism, just a complete ignoring of the facts of the situations around the world. Jesus, excuse me. Jesus Christ, man. Just take a look at what's happening in South Africa. And then also take a look back in recent history. There was an Irish slave trade too. And they were treated just on parley as bad as freaking, you know, African slaves. Do you not remember that? Or we were just going to focus on black shit. Not that we don't need to. We do need to. But black people were not the only ones ever discriminated against. White people discriminated against white people. This happened a lot. Honestly, I should have asked for script approval before agreeing to do this. We'll do s Jesus Christ. Some rewrites. I'm sorry. We didn't know. Well. What do you mean you didn't know? What do you mean you didn't know? Also, Pearl, fuck you! So, now you know! Did you know that I want to fucking bash my head against the wall? I swear! And then this, this shit. Tell the whole story, be anti-racist. Crystal Gems, speak up. Hey, Crystal Gems, you guys also helped not stop a bunch of horrible shit that happened in our history. Fuck you. And also, your entire planet was doing shit, horrible shit, to creatures all around the galaxy, so fuck, doubly fuck off. Leave it to me to respond to a one minute video and drag it up into 15 minutes. But I had a good reason for it this time. I am a history buff. Right. Anyone who has watched me knows how much I really care for history. I do not like it seeing it perverted. I do not like seeing it perverted. Alright, now I can definitely understand the concerns some people have for stuff that's happened in history, how it's been told. And they're like, well, history's written by the victors. What if there's a bunch of shit missing? And there is shit missing. But in the United States, we have a lot more complete picture because we save our information. We aren't actively going out there suppressing it. We aren't shy about admitting the mistakes of our past. But we use that to show just how much more we've come through in terms of that. We ended Jim Crow. We made it to where black people and white people and people of all nationalities can come into America and actually make it as their own person. And it got us to a point in the 90s and early 2000s where people really didn't give a shit about race. No one cared. At least, not a lot of people did in the normal American life. They just did what they had to do as people. That's all what everyone was trying to do. And now, ever since late 2010s or so, 
shit's just gotten real. People have been trying to use race to divide people just to as bad as it was in the 1960s. And this is the type of shit that got Donald Trump elected. Doing this type of shit and just outright accusing people of just writing to pander to white people is bullshit. It's bullshit. Alright? If you are a writer, you should write as well as you can write. You do not write for anyone but you. You put in your ideas, you put in your philosophy, you put in your skill to make the best possible goddamn written story out there. That is what your main priority should be as a writer. You want to put in some politics stuff in there? Go ahead. But don't be a condescending, condescending dickwad like Paul Verhoeven. Be an actual artist. Take risk. Do something that would actually get people to think about things and want to make better about normal, normal life. Don't do what Cartoon Network is doing and trying to subtly influence kids to be fucking assholes. Because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to subtly influence these kids to be fucking assholes. And I feel really bad for these kids. I feel really bad for these kids. These guys are being subtly indoctrinated by this shit. And they don't even know it, because they don't know any better. And even if a parent... You'd have to have some real good parents for them to realize, hey, something's off about this. And hell, I found so much stuff off about it, I made a 15-minute damn response to a one-minute-and-a-half video. It was that bad of a video. I don't see how at any past, any stage, you try to make that shit in 2011, that shit doesn't fly. You make it now, though, you can make a bunch of money off of it because people are going to start pandering this bullshit. And that's just really fucking funny concerning BLM, the fucking thing that these guys are all simping to, hasn't even given a single damn cent to black people. $10.6 billion dollars. They've gotten in donations this year, and they didn't give a damn cent of it to anybody. Because you know where it fucking went. You know where it fucking went. It went in these political super pats for Democrats that are just going to keep fucking over black people in these cities for the rest of time. Because that's what they want to do. They want to harvest black people for votes. That's all they fucking care about. How anyone can not tell me that, that a bunch of these Democrats are, not all of them, but certainly a bunch of them in these whore, huge cities... That's what they're definitely trying to do. And I'm sick of it. <sighs> yep. I hope I don't have to go full Yinzer again soon. But maybe I might respond to the other Steven Universe ad. And if they do another one in the future, I'll definitely respond to that shit. Ugh, fuck. <sighs>